Hello friends. So in earlier video, we saw how we have launched new EC2 instance. In this video, we are going to utilize that instance and we would connect to that instance from our local PC. That PC is in Mac OS. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my instance. Go to the instance details. Here you can find out the public IP address. So go to your PC from where you are accessing this virtual machine and locate the file where you downloaded the same. So here if I see in this folder, I have downloaded it. So this is the file name and to SSH EC2 user. So EC2 user is the user of our VM which we created and then put at the red and then put the public IP which is this one. Copy that one and put it here and let's see what is the message we get. So here if we do yes we get this warning or error message. So why this message is coming? Because we have not used our key yet. So let's see how we can connect through key. So for that the command is SSH then hyphen I then our key name which is EC2 key dot PEM then after that EC2 hyphen user at the red whatever IP we copied so this is the IP hit enter then you see you can see that this message is there so for avoiding this message we need to change the permission so for that the command would be ch mode 0400 and our key name so which is ec2 key dot pm so hit enter so after after the ch mode command we need to again put the earlier command and see what happens so here we can see our ec2 is connected so here we can put some command. So say, who am I? So it is saying that EC2 user, which is the user at the virtual machine. We can ping to any website like google.com and we are getting the responses. Now just do control C, this is going to disconnect then for disconnecting from the PC you can just do exit so once I do exit I am no more connected to that virtual machine so this way we can connect to virtual machine and we can work from our local so that virtual machine means EC2 I hope in this lesson you got an idea how you can connect to EC2 from your Linux box or Linux PC. So this is very important because in our projects we usually need to connect to our EC2 through our local. So thank you much for watching this video. Have a good one. Bye bye.